Here with Todd Sones, one of the top 100 instructors in the country. His golf school, the Todd Sones Impact Golf School, recently ranked number four in the country by Golf Magazine, number one in the Midwest. But he does more than just teach people how to play golf. He also has his own putting system called Couture Golf and the TriFit Method. Todd, how does it work? Right. Well, Steve, the whole idea is this, is that most people buy a putter off the shelf and they set up to the putter, right? What I believe is that people putt best when they're in the right setup. If you buy a putter off the shelf and it's not the correct length, you're not going to set it properly. So the idea of TriFit is completely backwards from that. It's the different direction, meaning that you learn to set up properly first and then have a putter that's customized to you in the right setup. And so basically what we want to do is we want to get people in the right setup. And, and let's define it real quickly with three lines. First is that when, when good players, when good putters set up to the golf ball, they tilt forward for the hips so that their eyes come to rest over the golf ball and their arms come to rest under their shoulders and then their hips come to rest over their heels. All of these are significant in the setup. Now the key is to have a putter that matches that setup, which is really a diagonal line that goes from the hands to, the, to the, where the eyes hit the ground. So I made a triangle out of it and then I patented this method. If you measure someone from the top of the left wrist crease, from that point straight down and then straight over, you square an A and B, just like we learned in eighth grade math class, then we come up with the length of the putter. That's what the TriFit tool does. This bar moves up and down so that we can see how that works. And that would give us the A measurement. The eyes come to rest on the mirror, which gives us the B measurement. And then we go to this chart and we convert it to the length of the putter. Um, so it's very, very simple. And then the whole idea, again, is get someone set up properly, get the right length putter that fits the setup. Let's talk about the product. Are they cast putters? Are they milled putters? What's the difference, Todd? There's a big difference, Steve. They're all milled. And, and even on top of that, they're milled in one-piece construction. And so what I mean, when you cast a putter, that's the most inexpensive way to make a putter. And that's the way most manufacturers make putters. You cast a putter, the putter cools in the mold, it changes shapes a little bit, they're very, very hard to get consistent and perfect. And I believe that the putter is the most valuable club in the bag, and it ought to be perfect. It yields 40% of your score. So when you mill a putter, you take a block of solid steel, and you can see this on our website. We have a milling video. Take a block of solid steel, and the CNC machine, which is all computerized, comes in and it mills the putter out of a block of steel. Well, and let's go over once again how people can get involved, how people can find your putters. And you have to go to a qualified or authorized instructor to actually learn how to use your system, correct? Yes, I mean, you know, if you talk about business models, the industry is about uh, sell as many putters as we can, and quite frankly, they don't mind if you buy a putter and you don't putt very well because they know you're gonna get tired of it and you're gonna go buy a putter the next year. And I'm a teacher professional. My idea isn't to, my goal isn't to sell more putters. My goal is to help people putt better. I just know they need a fitted putter to do it. And frankly, if I sold one putter, to, to every person, and that was the only part of they used the rest of their life, that'd be a phenomenal thing because they would putt great with it. Um, so at any rate, uh, the, that's the business model. Now, to accomplish that, you have to be set up properly. Who can do that? A qualified golf professional. The average person in a retail store uh, that doesn't understand the motion can't teach you to set up properly and build a putter or make a putter or suggest a putter that's really going to be best for you. So you have to be go through uh, a qualified golf professional, which you can find on our website. We have a great website that's very interactive. There's some great videos on it. It's www.coutouregolf.com, and there you can really find out all about it. And finally, wouldn't you agree that a majority of the people who play, mostly amateurs, have putters that are too tall for them? I do. That's a tremendous question. You know, the reason for that is because, believe it or not, the uh, original putter length of 35 inches was designed because it fits the golf bag. Really? Right. Wasn't much thought about whether or not it fits people. What we find in our fitting is that players 6'2 and, and over in height, that's when 35 starts to fit. So most people really need a putter that's shorter than that. And then, of course, you get into swing weights. And that's maybe the other thing I should tell you very quickly. Couture putters are all made in different swing weights because if the putter's made in a different gram weight, then you can basically make it in the correct weight so it's balanced. When you cut a putter down, you really destroy its balance in its feel. And a lot of people don't know when they grip down on their putter, they cut it off, they really messed up the putter. It has to be heavier if it's going to be shorter. It has to be lighter if it's going to be longer. And our congratulations to Todd Sones, recently ranked as the number two teacher in the state of Illinois by Golf Digest.